In this lesson, we shall take an overview of the Jefferson Airways charts. In later lessons, however, we shall look at them in more detail and eventually learn how to plan an Airways route. The Jefferson charts are divided into two sections, low level and high level. The low level charts are contained in the section marked En Route. And the high level charts are contained in the section marked High. Open the manual to the first envelope in the low level En Route section. Starting from the top of the chart, we can see that this is entitled Europe Low Altitude En Route Chart. This is confirmed by the chart number found in the top right hand corner, where the letter E indicates that it is a European chart. LO in brackets shows it is a low level chart. And the 1A is its number in the series. This chart is only printed on one side, as we can see from the note in the top left hand corner. Below the chart number is the scale. On this chart, it is 1 inch to 20 nautical miles, which approximates to 1 in about 1.5 million. Below the scale, there are some notes concerning the upper limits and airspace classifications within the area of coverage of the chart. We can see from these notes that the airspace covered by this chart encompasses Denmark, Norway and the United Kingdom, each having an upper limit of flight level 245. Next, we come to the chart revision data. On this chart, it shows that the revision was effective on the 30th of January 1998 and that the major revision was the decommissioning of the Aberdeen NDB and the ATS was modified within the United Kingdom. Revisions are always made on a Friday. Arguably the most important part of the front cover is the date on which the chart becomes effective. In this case, the chart became effective immediately upon receipt, but it may have been at a later date, in which case this date will be shown in this panel. Finally, the large box shows in diagrammatical form the area of coverage of this chart and adjacent charts. Now turn the chart to reveal the next panel down. The major portion of this panel concerns radio communications, including location, call sign, and frequency. It is strongly recommended that before you move on to the next scene that you read carefully the notes under the heading Tabulation Legend. The transponder Settings and Procedures are to be found in the En Route section of the AIP. At the bottom of the panel are two diagrams indicating the correct cruising levels to be used. The left hand panel shows the levels used in the United Kingdom below flight level 245 in uncontrolled airspace. This is known as a quadrantal system. All airspace, except the UK uncontrolled airspace, uses the standard semicircular method of odd flight levels between 360 and 179, and even flight levels between 180 and 359. Once you have read and understood the communications legend, open up the chart ELO1, which is at the back of the first envelope. Next to the chart number ELO1, you will see an arrow pointing to the right. This is the side of the paper on which you will find the required chart. The majority of en route charts, including this one, are a Lambert's projection. Open the chart to the second fold which shows Ireland, Wales and Scotland. Some of the area is shaded, indicating uncontrolled airspace whilst the areas in white are for controlled airspace. 
The solid blue lines joining the navigation beacons show the center line of the airways. The airway width is 5 nautical miles either side of the center line. Turn now to the high en route section and take out the first chart E HI 1. The layout of the front panel is the same as the low level charts, except that the flight level diagrams are omitted. Standard semicircular flight levels are used throughout. Open the chart to the first fold. There are no shaded areas depicting uncontrolled airspace, since all upper level airspace is controlled. Blue lines, as in the low level charts, define the center line of the airways, but there is no defined width to them. However, for air traffic control purposes, 5 nautical miles either side of the center line is the accepted norm. Again, a more detailed explanation of the chart symbols and its use will be dealt with in subsequent lessons.